Today we're going to talk about triangle angles and exterior angles on a triangle. First, I have a project for you to try at home. You're going to need a piece of paper, a pencil, something with a straight edge like a ruler, and some scissors. I would love for you to take just a minute to draw three differently shaped triangles on your paper using the straight edge and then cut them out so you're really careful to keep all three sides of each triangle super straight. After that, I'd like you to tear the three corners off of each triangle. You're probably going to want to mark them first to keep track of which angles belong to which triangle and then put the vertices or sharp points of the three angles together and see what happens. I want you to pause the video for just a minute so that you can give this a try because it really does tell you a lot about the three angles in a triangle. So for those of you who didn't want to take the time or couldn't find some scissors, let's show you what happens. I'm going to take the three angles in this triangle and I'm going to, this is a lot easier when you have an actual paper, but I'll do my best here to see if I can show you what happens. When I put these together, hopefully you can see that the edge right here creates a straight line. Hopefully that happened with your three triangles as well. The point being that every single triangle, when you put those vertices together, gives you a straight angle. And since we know that a straight angle contains 180 degrees, we can conclude then that the measures of the three angles in any triangle are going to add to 180 degrees. It actually doesn't um, matter what type of triangle or what size the triangle is. We are always going to get a total sum of 180 degrees. That's going to help us in a variety of situations. The first of which is let's say we have two angles in a triangle that are known and one unknown. Well, knowing that the three angles have to add to 180 gives us a leg up, right? We can add the three interior angles together, set it equal to 180, and solve the equation. In this case, I would combine like terms and subtract both sides, or subtract 100 from both sides. Or I could say I have 180 degrees subtract 70 and subtract 30, which would leave me 80 degrees left over. Either way, I'm going to get a missing angle measure, the measure of angle B, of 80 degrees. Let's try it on this triangle. Again, I'm missing the measure of angle B. I know that the measure of angle A is 90 degrees because of the right angle square right here and the measure of angle C is 30 degrees. So I can set it up in an equation, x plus 90 plus 30 equals 180, combine like terms, and subtract 120 from both sides, or I can take 180, subtract 90, subtract 30, and I'm still going to get 60 degrees left over for the measure of angle B. Let's try one more. This time we're missing the measure of angle R and I have 60 degrees and 60 degrees for our two known angles. Setting up an equation and solving or taking 180 subtract 60 subtract 60 is going to give us a missing angle measure of 60 degrees. On a side note, if I have all three angles that are the same measure, or all 60 degrees, 
This is what we call equiangular, meaning all angles are equal. Now, of course, we're going to throw in a little bit more algebra. Now we're not going to have just straight out angle measures. We're going to have some variables in the mix. This isn't going to change how we solve this equation, though. I still add all three angle measures together and set it equal to 180. This time I'm going to combine my terms. 5x plus 3x plus 2x give me 10x. I still need to include the plus 40 and it still equals 180. Then we're going to subtract 40 from both sides and divide both sides by 10 to get x equals 14. Since this problem just asked us to solve for x, we're done with this particular problem. But if we needed to, remember we could plug x back into each of the three expressions to find the angle measures. We'll do that in an example a little later. Sometimes our pictures look a lot more complicated than they actually are. Knowing what we know now about triangles and angle pairs, we can solve for all three missing angles in this picture. I'm going to start with angle 1 because it's part of triangle ABC. I know that those three angle measures have to add up to 180. So I'm going to take 180 minus 50 minus 55 and I have 75 degrees left over for angle 1. To find angle 2, we're going to go back to one of our last lessons. Angle 2 is a vertical angle with angle 1, and vertical angles have the same measure. So angle 2 is also 75 degrees. Then I have triangle CDE that has to have 180 degrees of angles in the interior. So I'm going to take, to find angle 3, 180, and I'm going to sub subtract my two known angles, 75 and 40. And that leaves angle 3 to have a measure of 65 degrees. Not as hard as it looked originally, just a little bit of calculator work, and we're done. Now let's introduce an exterior angle. We're going to take just an average everyday triangle and we're going to extend one of the three sides. The yellow part is called the interior of the triangle since it's inside, but extending one of those sides creates what we call an exterior angle, an angle on the outside of the triangle, but still attached to the triangle, of course. So now we have, instead of having three angles, now I have four. And let's take a look at some of those relationships. We know that the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three have to add to 180 degrees. But if you look closely, angle 3 and 4 create a linear pair. They're supplementary. So the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4 also adds to 180 degrees. Since these are both equal to 180, it follows that they're equal to each other. 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 3 plus 4. Remember we're talking about angle measures, not necessarily actual numbers. Well, what would happen if I subtracted the measure of angle 3 from both sides? That means the measure of angle 1 added to the measure of angle 2 would equal the measure of angle 4. And as a matter of fact, that's exactly what happens. Look at the placement or location of those three angles. We say because of this relationship, the measure of the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the non-adjacent interior angles. Remember, 3 and 4, since they share a vertex and a side, are called adjacent. 1 and 2 are the non-adjacent angles. 
if I add the measures of angle 1 and 2, it's going to equal the measure of angle 4 every time. So let's take a look at some actual triangles with measures and see what happens. Again, this angle right here is the adjacent angle to x, but 80 and 63 are the non-adjacent angles. So if I add those two angle measures together, that's going to equal my exterior angle measure. So my exterior angle is 143 degrees. There's another way to solve this. There's probably like five different ways to solve this, but I could have uh, found the measure that missing interior angle by subtracting 80 and 63 from 180, and then I'd know that that would have to be supplementary to angle X. There's a lot of different ways to reason this out, so don't just take my word for it. Reason it out the way that it makes the most sense to you. So here we have, of course, some algebraic expressions for our angle measures. But again, we have two non-adjacent interior angles and an exterior angle. So 2x plus 3x has to equal 130 degrees. Combining like terms, I get 5x equals 130. Dividing both sides by 5 gives me x equals 26. If I was only asked to solve for x, I would be completely done with this problem, so be sure to pay close attention to the directions. But let's say it wanted me to actually find the measures of angle A and B. For angle A, we're going to plug 26 in for x, and 2 times 26 is 52. For angle B, we're going to plug 26 in for x again, 3 times 26 is 78. So in conclusion, the measure of angle B is 52 degrees, the me or the measure of angle A is 52 degrees, the measure of angle B is 78 degrees. Sometimes our exterior angles are going to come from not just one side that's being extended, but two. Don't let this fool you. You could extend all three sides in both directions if you had to. But notice that that 155 degree angle is only adjacent to this corner angle right here in our triangle. These are still the non-adjacent interior angles. I'm still going to set it up like we did before. 3x plus 10 plus 4x plus 60 has to equal our exterior angle of 155. I'm going to combine like terms. I'm going to subtract 50 from both sides and then divide both sides by 7 and I get x equals 15. Since it asked us to find the missing angle measures, I'm going to plug 15 back into both expressions for x. When I uh, replace x with 15 in the 3x minus 10, I get a total of 35 degrees. And 4x plus 60, when x is 15, gives me 120 degrees. So I know my two missing angle measures, and I'm done with this problem. All right, that's going to wrap it up for today. Make sure to write down any questions so you can email me. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.